BK, 4-0, very comprehensive win for your side. What's your immediate reaction to the 90 minutes? Yeah, I think it was a good, uh, a good response from last week. Um, you know, we played a complete 45, in my opinion, and or sorry, 90, I should say. Um, we proved on our first half performance today. Um, our work rate was really good. So, you know, um, I thought the attitude the boys showed and the response from last week was really good, and I'm happy with that. I think but Nuno came off with a very scary-looking head injury. Yeah. But how is he? Look, he's OK. He's had a shower and all that sort of stuff. So, um, look, he'll go and do the, you know, a check offset hospital to do the right thing. But at the moment, you know, he's in good spirits and he's OK. So he was, like, communicating with everybody? Was yeah, he, like, honestly, he was perfectly fine, you know. Um, obviously, the, on impact, it didn't look great. Um, but he's all well and, um, we're, you know, we're glad to hear that. Full 90-minute performance. I mean, can you pick out a highlight, something that really went right this week compared to last mm -hmm. week? No, not really. Um, I, I just think that, you know, uh, again, I'm just really happy with, you know, the way we responded. Um, the boys trained really well from, you know, this whole week. And, you know, it's good to see that some of our um, training is, you know, going into fruition. How pleasing was it, I guess, the way that your players, they didn't seem, I don't know, they could have easily been very shell-shocked after what happened to Nuno. It felt like they settled very quickly and, and just got back down to business. Obviously, they're concerned for him, but they didn't sort of get rattled. Yeah, look, you know, unfortunately, you know, some of these accidents happen in our game, but, you know, um, when he was coming off on the stretcher, he was talking, he was OK. So I think that was the signal to say that he's OK. And uh, again, um, the players, you know, weren't affected. But, you know, after the game, you know, we all go see him and see how he is and see how his family is, because, you know, that's the most important for us. Just um, obviously all Socceroos scoring today. Marco Tilio, um, it's getting close now, Patrick. Should he should he be on that plane to Qatar? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you again. I'm not the, the coach, so I won't pick it. Um, all I can do is you know, put, put out a team um, for Melbourne City to do their best. And, you know, if there's Socceroos plays in it, great. If there isn't, they need to work hard enough to get in there, you know. Um, but like you said, today, again, you know, I, I thought it was a collective performance. Just but on, on Marco's performance, it felt like he sort of flashed in and out and it, it didn't all go right for him. He did get the goal. What, what did you make of how he went today? Yeah, good. Um, you know, I look at you know, his work rate and his attitude was, you know, really good. Um, he had a few half chances, you know, but the, the more uh, he keeps receiving the ball and the more that the ball gets towards him in the areas that we want to, um, sometimes they pay off. And, you know, today he was fortunate to be in those positions. Obviously, he has to play where he's told to play, but it really seemed like he really picked up a bit of form when he got moved on to the left flank in the second half. Do you think that's his best position? Uh, right or left, you know, uh, I think either or. Um, you know, his goal comes from a forward run by a midfielder, so, you know, it's a collective that, that this allows Marco and everyone else in our team, you know, when the team work a collective and work hard, you know, they, they show their strengths. Did, did you feel like you left a few goals out there today? It was seemed like such a dominant performance. Like, do you think four was probably unders in there? Well, it's, sometimes they're in, sometimes you know, sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. You know, we're just, again, the the fact that we're in those areas um, is pleasing for me. And, you know, it could have been one only, but, you know, the more and more they're in those areas, you know, that, that's what I want. And the day, you know, if they go in, they go in and, you know, it's great. But, um, you know, we keep focusing on being those areas at the right time. Was it also pleasing the fact that, I guess, you were so dominant in the first half as well, but couldn't quite score, obviously, but then um, for them not to, your players not to drop their heads, coming out of half time, banging four, was that, was that a pleasing aspect as well? Yeah, look, I think it's part of the game, you know. Um, you never get, sometimes, again, sometimes you, you don't get, you know, uh, sort of the outcome that you want, um, but it's the performance that counts the most, and the fact that, again, I was, we improved on the first half was good to see from the players. Just a few words on Jamie McLaren. Like as as Ronnie mentioned, you know the goals weren't going in, but he was so ruthless with, with those first couple of chances he got. I mean, what has he brought? He is closing on that record as well in the A League. Yeah, look, I think, I think the most important for me is you know Jamie continues to work hard at, at his at his um, position, and you know he leads from the front. Um, and when you work hard, you, you get rewarded, and it might not be always. 
because it doesn't happen always as we know that. But, you know, he's in the right areas where we want him to um, and he needs to keep continuing that and, you know, we're very happy to have him here. Just in terms of a, just a general timing question, Patrick, with the Socceroos boys, when are they available for next week or do they go off to camp? Like, I'm No, I think, they've, I think there's one more game. So is the plan to play it, would you play them as per normal in that, that Newcastle game? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, they, I thought that was the case, but we won't the, the, the last time I checked, you know, they represent Melbourne City. and um, So, yeah, they're, they're available for selection next week. Yeah, no foot off the pedal then. Uh, no. <laughs> um, and just have you otherwise, apart from Nuno, avoided any injuries? Yeah, everyone is OK. Um, again, besides Nuno, everyone, everyone pulled up OK. Midfield performance, the boys seem to play really well defensively. Is that something you've been working on this week? Uh, you know, I think if you look at it, it's the fact that you know the, the midfield work really hard to get him where they need to be, and um, you know we, we talk about behaviours in, in in our team, and you know number one, th their behaviours are fantastic. So again, we're very fortunate to have these type of players, but you know they work every day like that, and you know it's not by coincidence. Um, it's just through determination and hard work um, and, and effort, which I'm really proud of. Thank you.